One of the questions that often comes up is, you know, what qualifies somebody to be a Wisconsin artist? And, you know, and obviously in the first category you have artists like George O'Keefe who were born in the state, but really got out of the state as soon as she possibly could. Never really came back except to visit family and didn't really have a great deal of uh, nice things to say about her home state of Wisconsin. But one of the things that's always appealed to me is there are, have been always a number of artists going all the way back to the early 19th century who've come from other countries to Wisconsin, settled here, done significant work here, and you know have become cla very much classifiable as Wisconsin artists. So I've always felt that affinity as not being a Wisconsinite myself to the to the immigrant artists, and I think one of the ones that the Milwaukee, one of the paintings that the Milwaukee Art Museum has that ha always appeals to me is John Stuart Curry. Very much uh, born and raised in Kansas, really made his reputation in Kansas, but came to Wisconsin in 1936 as part of a very progressive program through UW-Madison. He was actually the first artist in residence at any American university. And they had a really sweet deal for him. It was $4,000 a year, which 1936 in the middle of the Depression, that was a sizable salary. They also spent $4,000 on a custom-made studio. But the thing that really, really appealed to Curry was that he was not tied down to any specific teaching program. He could go throughout the state as part of the Wisconsin Rural Art Program, another groundbreaking initiative to bring the rural and the urban, the academic and the non-academic together because they felt that art really was something that both camps, both constituencies could appreciate. And so Curry traveled throughout the state giving lectures, giving workshops, um, judging art fairs, and to me that's, you know, being out there and not just being stuck in an ivory tower but very much um, appreciating Wisconsin. And what this painting shows is, I think, in its scale and in its size, to me it's very much like a love letter from, from Curry to Wisconsin. This is a Wisconsin landscape that was painted in the 1940s, but it is a Wisconsin landscape that still exists very much today. And so that's why I love it. It's a, it's a state that I've come to love, and it's a state that John Stuart Curry came to love too. Hi, my name's Graham Reed. I'm the Assistant Director at the Museum of Wisconsin Art in West Bend, and I am an Art City contributor.